Hey there, everyone. Wants me hospitalized. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. So yeah, time to begin Chapter 5. Inner Recesses. Probably turn the lantern on. Might be wise. Where did he go? And he's gone. Hmm. Someone either doesn't want, like, people getting in there, or they didn't want something to get out. Okay, more matches. Oh, hey, green stuff. Wait, was that an invisible monster? Oh, that's an invisible monster. Is there any good way to, like, see these things? Okay, that didn't exactly work out too well. I was thinking, wait for it to appear right in front of me, then shoot it, but yeah. <laughs> that didn't really work out too well. Seems someone wants me hospitalized. Wait, I didn't go in here before. I guess I can go to Mirror World. Necessary for me, Wait, what did he say?
It's been a while since your last visit. Hadn't been that long. Okay. Wow, so at maximum match level, we can carry 30 matches. I think I'll put one level into that. I'll put two. Upgrading that seems pretty cheap. Oh, individual weapons have different upgrades. Yeah, I definitely want more of that. Okay, I think we're done here. Well, at least the stuff uh, remains there if you want to get it later. Seriously, I think the... The uh, handgun could be an amazing weapon if I keep upping the critical rate on it, though. Because seriously, if I can instantly kill, like, enemies with headshots, then... Wow. <laughs> like, that could really help to save the ammo for the stronger guns. You know, I can just use them for bosses and stuff. I don't know, sounds like a good idea to me. Field of view in that place is awful, though. It's quite literally over the shoulder. Okay, this time, I'm gonna burn you. You're not getting up. I don't even know how you got up, considering you don't have legs, but... Somehow you got up before. Oh, that was a different one. Okay. Well, what the heck happened to that one before then? 
He just completely disappeared. stuff again. Oh yeah, Root Face is coming after me, isn't he? not like these guys. Yeah, I should hit him. Oh, that's a good idea. Hit him hit him with melee attacks to reveal them and then shoot them. Okay. That that that's a good idea. Hold on, let's let our health restore a bit here. There we go. Well, it just opened. Clearly it was a door, but where was the door? The better question is what came out of it. I, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this room. Thought I was going into like a dead-end cell or something there for a second. Wow, there is a lot of blood in this place. see a way down unless I can just jump down well I guess that's what I'm gonna do Is creepy baby doll gonna come to life and try to kill me? What was that? Seriously, what the heck just ran off over there? What 
is that? Is that like a rat? Oh! It's got one of those statues. I'll take that. Let me guess, I need a key card. Locked. Need to find a key card. Yep. Ah, oh, great. Dang, two hit kill. Well, at least we checkpointed here. Wait, there's two of them? Or did that one just, like, get behind me somehow? I think it did. I don't know. I'm just not sure if I have to burn them all or not. I mean, I know obviously I don't have to, but I mean, it's like, I, I don't know. Like, I still don't know if... That prevents them from getting up later, or what? That was just moving on its own? What the heck is moving those? I don't think there's anything here. Wow, two headshots and it didn't die? Not getting so lucky with the criticals now. Where'd it go? suck at fighting those things. Okay, so basically my strategy for these things going forward is whack them, dodge the counterattack, shoot them in the face, hope they die. Like so. You know, I don't know if I made mention of this, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but, um, 
Yeah, I realize that you don't really have to play this game like an old school survival horror, because that's kind of what I was expecting it to be. Like, I was thinking it was going to be a game with very limited supplies where you'd have to, you know, be really careful with, you know, how much ammo you choose and all that. And I know it is, like, to some extent. But it's like the game is a lot more like Resident Evil 4 than classic Resident Evil. Because enemies often drop ammo, you find ammo all over the place, and it's like, the thing that really made me realize that you can pretty much just run around shooting everything in this game is just simply the fact that you get checkpoints. Like, I realized in the village, like, you get checkpoints for killing a certain number of enemies, so it kind of made me realize they basically want you to play this more like Resident Evil 4 than classic Resident Evil. Of course, you know, if you're a terrible shot like me and you waste all your ammo, that's not going to be a good thing. Did he just instant kill me? Well, that sucks that they can do that. Of course, what I said probably, you know, mostly applies, like, if you still use your ammo wisely. Like I said, I want to try to use, you know, like, the handgun for most enemies, but for the bosses and stuff, obviously, I want to save my stronger weapons for them. And obviously, always aim for headshots. Like, you can play this game like Resident Evil 4, as long as you, like, you know, use your resources smartly. Hey, are you, like, ever gonna come to the door? Did it come through? No. Surprise! How do those things get around me like that? Oh, good grief. These things are bad news. Okay, can't do nothing with the TV. I was thinking I'd be able to interact with that. Wait, can I? Nope, it's not one of those unobvious interactions. I just realized I was still injured there. Oh, 
Oh, there's the key card. Sweet. I guess more root faces. And boom. more doesn't seem like it let's wait a little bit here it's probably gonna checkpoint after I do this so I want to let my health restore first. Oh, it's, uh, Ruvik? Was that his name? Oh, good, handgun ammo. Is that Leslie? Oh, puzzles? Okay, not really a... Did I just make a mistake? What if I press the other button? One of them's like a flower, the other is like a. also a flower, maybe? Is 
Seriously, what do I do? Oh wait, I can look through these. I see, we gotta look through all of those then, and then go into these rooms and do something. Okay. Now it makes sense why there's like holes everywhere in the floor. The moment I like the moment I noticed those, I was thinking, are there gonna be spikes coming out of those? Okay, so this one's also the left one. Okay, one more. Now is this one gonna be the right button? How are you supposed to know? get the puzzle. Well, the other two were left. I guess maybe this one's right. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, that looks like... Oh. For a second I was gonna say that looks like the cult symbol from uh, Resident Evil 4. This game really does... It seems like this game really does try to be Resident Evil 4 in a lot of ways. Oh, that's a big jar of stuff. Even though it's only worth a thousand. Joseph. Thank God you're okay. I don't know what I am, but it's definitely not okay. 
brought me here? <coughs> Jesus, what happened? My head feels like... Like... Do you hear that? We need to get out of here. Can you move? Yeah, I... Joseph! Oh, goody! Escort missions! Oh, well... You can heal them without consuming... healing items. Somehow. I don't know how that would work. Uh, any items lying around? Okay, there's that. Alright, well. Let's, uh, start making our way out of this place. Wherever this place even is, I don't think we got here through conventional means. Oh, hey, more oil. Hmm. I should lure some zombies to that. Hello. I'm gonna burn you just to be safe. Okay, I guess I could use a shotgun a couple times here. Wow, they are really stupid enough to just walk right into the fire. And it went out, darn it. I didn't really think that'd work. I'm gonna burn you just in case you get back up. I think I noticed before, like, I think if you knock them down, like, if they're not quite dead, but it's like, like, if you knock them down and they're, like, stunned for a moment, I think you can put a match on them. I think I did that earlier, didn't I? Are you alright? Can I break these? No. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Oh, well, I guess I needed it. I think we can switch back to the handgun here for a while. 
Ooh, hello. I'll probably be making use of that shortly. Yes, yeah, see? Like that. And is that all that was in here? Wait, there's this. Hey, more handgun ammo. Good. probably going to be a horde up ahead. Hmm. And kick those apparently. Wonder if I should kick it down the stairs. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode right here, and next time we uh, continue getting out of this place. See you, everyone.